Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna use the 3D pen tool to go ahead and try to just draw the sloper on the avatar. So there's four different, am I counting that right? Uh, 3D pen tools to draw with, maybe that's five actually. Um, so the top two are to draw on actual garments that you already have sewn up. Um, and the bottom two are for to draw exactly on the avatar. The top one has a little white arrow in the corner, so that's actually designed to edit, change something that's already drawn. So that leaves us with just the bottom one. And uh, if you notice, there's like a little arrow in the bottom corner. Uh, if you click it, that means there's more than one tool. So we're going to do the 3D pen avatar right now. And we're basically just going to draw the front bodice of where we think it should be go. So this is what I was using for like her shoulder line, high point shoulder measurements. So I'm definitely going to click there. I'm going to go straight to do her shoulder seam and I'll click here. Um, then I'm going to try to do a curved line. Let's see here. That's kind of working. I know if I hold a button, it makes it curve for you. I can't remember if it's which one it is, if it's command option or control, but I think I'm actually doing a um, Okay, I can always, I know I'll have to go in and clean this up anyways. Ooh, it's kind of straight. I don't know if I really like that. Maybe her side seam isn't in a good spot. I don't know. But I wanted her armhole to go down. So maybe, maybe her armhole is just going to have to go higher than what I initially thought. That's okay. All right, so then I'm going to go straight down her side seam. Click that. Okay, now this does not have a dart, so this will be problematic. It's okay. I'm gonna to go to center front, click once. I'm gonna go up to the neck, click, click once. I'm gonna to try to go around her neckline. Okay, it's I'm holding command and it's letting me do the curve. And voila, I clicked on where I started. I only had to click one time. Okay, so this is not gonna be perfect. We are gonna to have to go in and clean it up. But before we do that, I'm gonna go back to the other tool, the flatten tool. And there's certain lines I need. Okay, no, first, before I do that, I'm gonna go to the edit, edit tool. And I do know the shoulder seam. I'm gonna click just that, so it's selected. I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna flatten as a straight line. Because right now it's like contoured against her body. I actually wanna do the same with the side seam. I want that to be just a straight line, okay? Same with center front. I want that also to be just a straight line. Her neck can obviously be curved. Her waistline's gonna be curved. Her armhole's kind of a mess. I'm gonna have to go in and figure out what to do with that later. Um, okay, so I have three things straight. My shoulder, center front, side seam. Now I'm ready to turn this into a pattern piece. So I'll change my view to be the double screen. I don't know if I really need these windows open, so I push the tab away. Um, and let's go back to, when you click and hold this um, and change to flatten. And there you go, when I hover over it, there we go, click. And then I only have one piece I'm doing right now, so I'll say enter. But I suppose I could have also drawn the back side. Okay, there we go. Uh, now I can kind of go in and clean some stuff up. I think what I wanna do is add a waist dart. Um, and I do wish, you know, I wonder if I can still do this, yeah. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make this piece a little bit transparent. And I wanna mark, um, maybe with like a baseline tool, that will work, base ellipse. I just wanna mark where her like bust point is. Press air, oh, I'm in the wrong tool though. So let's go to, let's see if it'll let me draw on, actually maybe, what, let's see here. Oh, I guess what I could do is um, draw on, change my tool to drawing on the garment at this point. Okay, so we have two. We have this one and this one. Okay, the problem is I really want this to be kind of sheer. Here we go. Okay, great. And I, yeah, I don't know, maybe I just do like an X. Okay, great, so that's the bust point. Just wanted to note where that was. And then really where I want my dart is probably right below it. So I'm just gonna do like another, just kinda a little notch so that I know where that is. Cool. 
And then perhaps here, I wonder if I should add a point or if I can, yeah, it's probably easiest to add a point. So I'm gonna hit the letter X as a keyboard shortcut to split a line. It's also found under the, um, the edit pattern tool. It's um, add point or split line. X is a great keyboard shortcut to memorize though. And I'm gonna hit click that one time. And now there's a point there. Because there's a point there, I can now select it. So I wanna change tools to Z which will select just part of a pattern, not the whole thing. It's the same as this edit pattern tool. And I can right click and we can add a dart. Okay, so I'm going to add the dart. Um, when I select the point, I right click. Now, if I say just add dart, no fullness, it'll just add a dart here and it will leave my side seam where it is, which means it'll make this garment even smaller and tighter. So we don't want that for the sloper. Um, instead, I am gonna add a fullness dart with fullness and it's a little tricky because it wants a segment I wish I could just click the bust point but instead I'm gonna go through the bust point and up to the neck and click that I'll choose the side seam and then it's like well how big should we add it and I mean I'm just kind of estimating I don't really have an actual number um, but usually less than an inch is probably good so I guess I'll do about 0.5 for both of them um, click the dart tip to set. I think what I'm gonna do is just have it go all the way up to the bust point. I know um, normally when we were gonna sew this, you would drop your dart point about an inch below the bust point, but just for a working pattern, I'm gonna leave it, the uh, dart point actually on the bust. You can change, true it up later. Has some options to smooth out your curve. I'm just gonna say return, and there we go. It kind of opened it up a little bit. Next, I'm gonna go in and just clean up the armhole just by eyeballing it. I know I definitely want a 95 degree, or 90 degree angle right here and right here, actually. Um, so I'm just gonna use our curve. I like the smooth curve tool. I think it's the easiest one for this kind of deal. I'm gonna click the first curve to the other one and then make sure you the blue line that's selected is armhole, not the rest of the pattern. So I'll click that. It's yellow now. Now this blue line, I can click and drag what I want uh, I think I clicked a little bit early I can play around with that later though and then in the meantime what I'm gonna do is go back to my edit pattern tool letter Z I'm gonna right click this guy and I'm gonna make this a perpendicular pattern corner as well so I'm um, probably gonna do it for at least 0.25 inches that way if you sewed the front and the back you don't get like a weird um, eye drop, kind of pointy shape. You really want a nice round shape. So I'm gonna do that for both of them. Perpendicular pattern corner, 0.25. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's tentatively my front sloper. Um, and I will go ahead and do the same to draft the back sloper. Okay, I started at the center back, and I'm gonna hold down Command on my Mac, click that high point shoulder line, go straight across to the shoulder. This time I'm gonna hold Command as I trace around the sleeve. Okay. Try to get to the underarm, there we go. Go straight down, oh, and it ended, that's okay. So now I'm gonna do center back, click on that, go straight down, click straight down, and go around the waist, click. Okay, that's the back. Um, so now I will go ahead and flatten my straight lines. So I have to do the edit tool, and I'll select on the center back, that should not be curved, that should be a straight line. Same with the shoulder. Uh, I'll make sure I get under. Did I draw two separate ones or are they just kind of sharing the same one? Okay, we'll see how that goes. And then, of course, the underarm. It says it's already flat. Okay, cool. Alrighty, let's see if I can turn this into a pattern piece then. So now I'm going to switch to, instead of 3D pen, I'm going to do flatten. And there it is. Kind of goes away. Okay, click. And now I can hit enter. Great, I'm gonna hit my selection tool, keyboard shortcuts, the letter A. 
I'm gonna scooch it over here. And we're gonna clean it up again. So I think what I will do is um, my edit garment tool. So um, I can just draw where I want my dart to be. I know in the slopers, they have a dart at the shoulder. I'm tempted to not do it and just do the dart at the waist instead. So here we go. So I got my little edit tool and where should this dart at the waist be? I suppose right here will work. Oops, I'm gonna, actually for fun, I will make it transparent, the view and, is this it? There we go. Make the view transparent. Okay, I think right here will work. So I'm just drew a little notch just so that it marks my pattern. That's really all I need, I suppose. Um, okay, so time to clean this up. We do need to add that dart, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a point. Keyboard shortcut, letter X. There it is, and then I'm gonna hit the letter Z to do keyboard shortcut, edit. Right click that selected yellow point, add dart with the fullness. Okay, oh, I don't really have, I guess I'll just go straight up like that on the shoulder. Pick the side seam in this dart. Let me zoom in. Um, I think an inch is more than enough, so probably about this much. And then how tall do I want the dart to be? I guess about five something. And I'm just gonna hit return. Okay, so I definitely wanna clean up the back neck. I don't like that. So I'm gonna go back to my smooth curve tool click and drag, I will choose the neckline to be blue. Once it is, then that can help me kind of get a better curve happening. Um, it's a little low, but anyways, I'm gonna actually change back to um, Z. And oh, you know what was nice? Here, it's got the little handlebar so I can bring it up to where I want it. And it looks like it has a 90 degree angle there. So anyways, just for fun, I'm gonna right click perpendicular pattern corner, I'll say 0.25. Do the same for the other one as well, 0.25. That armhole is a mess. Um, before I do too much, why don't I true up this side seam? Okay, this side seam is 8.259, and this is much shorter. So I don't know what happened. Oh, I see, yeah, so I'll just make him longer. So I'm gonna change you to be 8.25, change length, 8.25. Okay, now it's taller. This one, I'm gonna right click and do change length also, because I know it's 8.259, and I'll just change it to 8.25. Um, I think I'd rather drop it at the armhole. It looks like right now it's dropping it at the waist area or shortening at the waist, so I'm gonna change it to end the direction. So now it changed the length to be shorter up at the armhole. Okay, these are funny looking angles, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and clean up the armhole shape. Smooth curve, click blue, change this guy, maybe something like that. Great. Change to the Z keyboard shortcut, right click. Let's get those perpendicular corners happening. And same here. Okay. Okay, so let's give this a test fit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unfold it. So I'm gonna select the center back. I'm gonna right click, unfold, symmetric editing with sewing. Um, that's okay. Ooh, that's going, it thinks it's a curved line? What? What's going on? That's weird. Let's see if it'll let me do this one. Right click, unfold. Hey, that one's no problem. Okay, for some reason, this one thinks it's curved, which is kind of confusing. Well, maybe if I change this guy. Perpendicular pattern corner. Hmm. Right click. Oh, I cannot unfold. I can't believe it thinks it's curved. Okay, well then I guess right click. Let's see here. Uh, delete all curve points. Let's try that. Right click, unfold, symmetric. That's weird. 
I did not know there was curved points there. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. I don't have any weird pointy things around the neck. I don't really like that curve. I can fix it later. But let's just see if this is even fitting our model or what. It's kind of on the model already. Um, you know, we could reset it. Maybe we don't have to. I'm not sure what's best to do. But so far, the only sewing it has is at the darts. So we do need to finish sewing it together. Oh, and I should check the length of the shoulders. So let's go back in. This is 4.6. Are you also? Yeah, close enough. Okay, so here we go. Let's get our sewing tools. I'm going to use the segment sewing. Side seam to side seam, shoulder to shoulder, keeping an eye on my notches that they um, you know, are pointing the same direction. I think that's all I need to sew. I should probably reset it. Uh, let's see here. But let me just hit spacebar and see what happens. Hey, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to change this to not there. Okay, cool. So now we have our body, our sloper, and we can go ahead and apply any fit corrections that we want. Um, let's see here. I might want to change the hem to be more straight. Is it a little too tight? I'm going to put on my fit maps to see what I think about that. So let's, uh, let's see here. Okay. I don't have any red, can't wear, so that's good. Um, what else do we got? Oh, a little tension around the neck. A little tension at the arm. Maybe we fix this arm. Maybe it does go up too high. So I might reshape that back one. I wasn't really happy with it anyways. So see where that, where I clicked on her? You can see it here. I kind of just... I wonder if I even need to drop the armhole if it's too high. And look at that. I thought my side seam was going to be on the side, but no, it's definitely pulling forward. Well, maybe this maybe this is where I had it. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to play with this curve. And this time, I'm going to try using letter C. Or actually, what if I hit Z? I'm going to hit Z. Oh, yeah, no, I'll hit C. And I'm just going to pull it out a little bit. Hit spacebar. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I just need to add a little bit to the center front because this is really angled and this is not angled nearly as much. So I'm going to change that guy. Maybe I can bring him in a little. Um, let's see, spacebar. Okay. Probably now he has. Now uh, we have a little extra fabric here, so I might try to take that out of my shoulder by bringing it down a little. This will get rid of some of the fabric. But then I got to go back in and make sure my shoulder seams are the same length. Anyways, this is kind of fun because you can start playing with it to try to get a good fit, but really. Um, yeah, this is it. We have our sloper and that's the project. So you can stop here or you can continue to play with it to perfect your fit. Um, but reach out if you guys have questions.